What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to cover a few things which have come to light over the past few days. Uh, but before we get into that guys, if you'd like to support this channel, leaving a like on the video truly does that and helps me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so let's get into it and the escalation protocol is a son of a bitch to complete. We all know this, it's seriously hard and it's why many people are only doing it in groups of 9 players. It's a great addition, a true challenge for us guardians and I wouldn't change it, it's the way I like it, I like a challenge. But what do we get out of it besides sore funds? Well we do get some great looking loot and that loot can be seen on screen now. Now this loot does indeed look cool. But it isn't as simple as just defeating all levels of the escalation protocol to receive this loot which is exclusive to this escalation protocol. Upon defeating the last boss of the EP you will get a chest spawn where you actually started the initial EP via the tower. This chest for you to open requires you to have an encrypted cash key. If you don't have one of these you won't be getting any of that exclusive loot. So how do you get these? Well after completing the Warmind campaign, players will begin receiving Rasputin key fragments from the following sources, Heroic Adventures, Heroic Strikes, Nightfall Strikes and the Raid and Raid Layers. Upon receiving 7, head to Anabre and simply exchange them for what you need and BAM you are done people, now complete the escalation protocol and you will receive that also juicy loot. Now it's important to state that you won't receive duplicate armour pieces until you have that full set already, Bungie have made this clear on numerous occasions, which is good considering how rare the gear will be and how hard it will be to obtain. The items will drop in this order, class items, legs, arms, chest and then your head. So the loot does look great and I just can't imagine how it will rock certain shaders and honestly people I can't wait to find out. Okay so we're going to move on to other news. So within PvP we have ranks, we have Glory and we have Valor. Glory is the competitive side of the game and Valor is like the casual quick play side of the game. So what happens within Valor when you reach top rank and reset that rank? Are you rewarded? Well, according to folks over on Reddit, you are rewarded for resetting your rank with four high level items which all will help you progress in power level, so that is great. For me though, I probably won't ever get to reset as I just don't play PvP that much, but I suppose you never know. Other details though which you may want to take note of, your PvP rank within Valor is account wide, so all of your characters will progress the rank while playing PvP, that same rank. But obviously here guys, if you plan on resetting your rank to try and get this high level gear, you want to do it on your highest level character. That way it will help you progress further. I mean it would be a waste of loot and power if you reset on your lowest character. So just be aware of that. Okay so moving on, and people there is a new exotic in town, and I believe it's pronounced a sanguine alchemy. This exotic belongs to the warlock and it is an exotic chest piece. Now I was well aware of this exotic and the perks but what spiked my interest was a video put out by Messer Sean talking about this thing and how it actually works within PvP. If you guys have somehow never heard of Messer Sean, do check him out via the link within the video description. A great dude who posts great daily Destiny 2 videos, much like myself. So yeah, watching this video, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So this chest piece's intrinsic perk is heightened sense. Basically you become Spider-Man. Just kidding. Standing in a rift grants an enhanced radar and marks high priority targets for you and your allies. Now this is said to be pretty standard within the PvE side of the game, as you can imagine, there are way better exotics to use, but what about PvP? How does this thing work? Well people, it's absolutely ridiculous. Basically, if you drop a rift and you stand in it, you get a damn wall hack. You can see your target enemies for up to 30 meters through damn walls. What's even crazier? If your teammates also stand in the rift, they also get the same buff, they can see enemies through walls. I mean what is life right now? This is absolutely nuts. You guys can probably tell by my voice I'm a little jelly right now, as I don't have a warlock. I have two hunters and a titan. Hold up, be right back, I'm going to delete a hunter. Now on a serious note people, what an exotic to own, this is just crazy and can you imagine how this is going to work in the competitive side of the game? People are going to be abusing this, it's absolutely crazy. I mean 30 meters won't be enough to see enemies across the entire map, but people it's far enough to easily get the advantage, that's for damn sure. Truly insane, and you can see this working on screen now, absolutely nuts people. 
talking the nuts i'm going to cut mine off hope you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like truly helps me and my channel out and hopefully guys i will see you on the next one always in the wrong knowing where we stand but you and i will carry on we never get it right